Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. This is a small video about exceptions. So the ground rule of exception is, if any exception is raised, uh, could be a functional model exception or a class method exception, make sure that needs to be captured in your code. Okay, so it's quite important, but you may notice without capture the exception the codes are running fine since a long time but that is okay um, but if you make the habit yes there is an exception it needs to be at least it needs to be captured somewhere whether we need to provide information to the user that is the second step so it's the first step it needs to be captured okay let's see a few scenarios so what happened if it is not so if you not capture the exceptions, it may cause dump. So that's what it, it, it depends on the scenario. It not every time it goes to dump, whenever the exception is raised. Exception is, it's like mostly they captured all the compile time errors. And this is, it's coming in the runtime level. So runtime, it may happen. That is a call exceptions. So if it is not captured properly, obviously you will get a short time. And in the bad job process, suppose there is a program that is going to be run in the bad job. Yes, that's the fact your bad job also. You might receive an email, so your bad job is cancelled. If you noticed, probably one of the exceptions might be raised and it's not captured. And you have an option of try catch scenario. Either you can use it to capture the exceptions or function module or class exceptions. So this one, you have an option of like if size sub bus is not equal to zero, just write a message or you just keep empty that area. At least that level is okay to avoid the short term. And try catch is mostly for you may uh, experience or you may get an error. Uh, if you execute this type of statement, then you have to use try catch. For example, recently we mostly we used if the internal table is empty, if it has a new above and HANA syntax. So normally we use try catch, okay? Or uh, there is an arithmetic overflow, it may happen, okay? It's not, it, it will happen every time, it may happen, it's a very rare scenario, but I want to be captured that also. So divided by zero is one of the exception for this try catch block, okay? So these are the uh, place where you be a little bit more cautious and apply this try catch to avoid any um, short term level in your program, maybe in future. And uh, these are simple uh, syntax how to capture the exception. So if you um, use a function module and it gives an exception, maybe unit not found, this is the conversion, the U, uh, unit of commercial conversion. If you say some, what is the input is coming dynamically and that is not available by any chance, maybe it not, it not be created in your production system, probably it might be available in your quality system, okay, for some reason. So then that exception has happened and you have to make sure you capture the exception. So this is one of the way to capture the exception, okay. And the second step is how you are projecting to the user, okay? maybe a message or a write message or an email. That is the next level of process, but make sure it captured properly. Even if you keep this if block without anything inside, that is also considered as this exception is captured in the code. So, but it not the second step is not happening. It's fine, but it captured. Okay. Sometimes there may be a, a ignore exceptions, but people say make sure the program needs to run. Okay, maybe you can send an email, then we'll figure it out what happened. E example for the conversion, unit of conversion. Okay, this is unit is not available. Okay, we'll make it, but it happens very rarely. In that scenario, you have to use say sub RC. Okay, not equal to zero. Do the process, it will continue the process also. Okay. And then this is the another way, same thing, but this is another object. Like I have a class and it has a method. The method has an exception and they raised it that also needs to be captured. And this is one of the scenario, it may occur, but it's very rare, but it may occur. So those things also make sure you have a try catch block that captures the exceptions, okay? Uh, one of the exceptions is arithmetic overflow divided by zero and so many things, okay? 
and the another one is i'm not sure what could be the exception is happening but it may happen i want to like need to add some exceptions then this is very rare scenario then you have to use catch cx route i want to capture it i'm not sure what is the, what could be the issue then use the route this is one of the way and to capture the exception and just write it whatever if you want to write it write it or you can keep this as a blank also okay at least to capture the exception so there are two process here how to capture the exception and what's next process 2 and here i explain only the process one process 2 depends on your need it can it could be a message it could be a write statement or it could be an email whatever it is okay that's it i'll show you the same in the system and run few uh, few times and see how the short term happens how the short term is avoided if we have the proper exception uh, catch a statement in the code So this is the some sample code where I'm just capturing the exceptions. The first one is arithmetic overflow. I just hard coded it, but normally it has maybe a, a dynamic variable which holds the value. So if it is is more than what as specified in by SAP, then what happens? You'll get an arithmetic overflow issue. Uh, so here the um, yeah, exception is captured with the right statement. It depends on this is process two. It depends on your need. You can just make sure. And after that, I just uh, have a right statement. Make sure the cap the exception is captured. It continue to the next ex uh, executable statement. So for that, I have a right statement here. And I have one simple class. It has a method, and the method as an exception is raised with uh, some um, piece of code it's simple i just put if one equal to one okay some scenarios yes you want to raise an exception in the method that also needs to be captured whenever you are calling the particular method from your code so for that i use the block if say suppose is not equal to zero i'm capturing the exception and displaying it as a message so first one displaying as a right stream and uh, another one is the uom conversion so there's a uh, conversion here i'm just giving an input unit of measure obviously this is not available in the system so it is it, rise an exception you need not found then you get a message and every after exception i have a right statement okay let's see how it works then we'll command uh, this piece of code then see what happens okay execute act to order Sorry, uh, executed. First one is class exception. I just showed in the message. The first one is actually a arithmetic flow overflow exception, but that is in a right statement. It comes after the message pop up. So class exception, and this is a conversion uh, conversion issue of unit you know, of measure function module, and that's it. So it's captured, and uh, if you capture it properly, it continue with the next executable statement. So that is the idea of capture the exception okay if not what will happen so this is process two okay even you can comment this piece no issues but technically we captured the exception but process two is not happened that's it so if you comment this that's okay at least you can avoid the short term Act toward it. So now you will see, you won't see any exception messages, but you will see all the right statement. Execute, yes, it's continued after arithmetic overflow, continued class exception, and also continued after the function model exception. Suppose if you're not captured, um, you may have a statement in your code and that might run in a foreground or a background. Sometimes this may happen, arithmetic overflow, probably by manual error, then what happens? And I am executing it, you will get a dump. Okay, so overflow during an arithmetic operation. These are rare scenarios, but make sure that needs to be captured properly in your program. So sometimes you are not experienced this in development or quality server, but 
it may happen in the production. So to avoid those things, we have to capture the exception. So hope this video could be little useful uh, whenever you just have an idea so how to capture the exception and what is the process two of the exception if it is captured what is to be done and depends on the business need. So just go through us and play around if you have any doubt please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.